Michael, welcome aboard. Thank you, Alex. Here's a chance for you to make some money. First, I want you to meet a gentleman who has two stories to tell. Let's welcome David Lohr. Michael, David is going to tell us two stories, only one of which is the truth. And if you can spot the true story, then you'll win $500 in cash. David, tell us your first story, please. I'm an expert on James Dean. I own a museum with the world's largest collection of James Dean memorabilia. All righty. Michael, now David is going to tell us his second story. Children can become addicted to video games. I'm hired by parents to break that addiction. All right, panel, to uh, help Michael win the $500, you each have an opportunity to ask one question about each story. We'll start with Kitty, and we'll begin with a James Dean story. Thank you. Uh, what kind of a car was Dean uh, driving when he was killed? It was a poor spider. Richard. Yes, uh, James Dean's famous for a particular, uh, well, for a windbreaker that he wore. What color was it that he was famous for? That was red. Betty. How many movies did James Dean make? Three major films. Three major films. Orson? Uh, do you have that, uh, that great photo of James Dean in Times Square in your museum? I have a copy of it, yes. Yeah. All right, so much for the James Dean story. Now we'll go to story number two, video games. Kitty? What is the first thing you do to break a child from too many video games? Uh, there are several things. You can put a governor on the machine so to limit the time they can use it or force them to watch it until they're bored. Richard? What's the object of a game called Supercharger? Uh, that one is, it's, has various levels that the child has to get through. Betty? What's the most popular of, of the video games today? Well, the Nintendo series, but right now the Transylvania Dracula is the most popular. Transylvania Dracula. Orson? Uh, I'm with the Mario Brothers. Who are, <laughs> who are the Mario Brothers? Uh, those are the little guys that jump around up in the to get to the different levels. It's got to be you, then. It's got to be you. <laughs> All right. Michael, you've heard the cross-examination. Does David own the James Dean Museum, or does he help break video game addiction in our youth? Well, I have a four-year-old nephew, and he's into Mario, so I don't believe the story of you being involved with the video games. I'd say that you're the owner of the James Dean Gallery. All right. David, what's your true story? To tell the truth, I own the James Dean Museum. Yeah! Congratulations, Michael. You have just won $500, and we thank you for playing one-on-one. -on -one. David, you brought some of the James Dean memorabilia with you. What have you got there? Uh, this is a sport jacket that he wore in East of Eden in the carnival scene, and these are a pair of blue jeans from Rebel Without a Cause. Those blue jeans don't look as if they've been washed ever. Is uh, that the case? I don't think so. They don't look it. We have a little bit of videotape here of your museum. Perhaps you could describe what we're looking at. Well, that's the exterior right there. And that's a bust by the Hollywood artist Kenneth Kendall. And these are showcases filled with... Uh, there's another pair of trousers from Rebel Without a Cause. Items from the movie Giant. David, what's the uh, secret to the James Dean mystique? After all, as you said, he made only three films, three major movies. That's really hard to say, but he seems to influence every new generation as they come along. Well, it was uh, great having you come along to visit us Thank on you. To Tell the Truth. Thank you for your story. We'll be back right after these words, folks. <laughs> This 